Summer in Howard County is a special time, marked by family events, activities, and the long-standing Howard County tradition of the 4th of July fireworks right here at Lakefront. Howard County's annual 4th of July celebration includes wonderful food trucks, exceptional musical performances, and fun for the entire family. More than 50,000 visitors attend the festivities each year, and we can't wait to see our lakefront filled with families, friends, and neighbors once again. This year, the 4th of July celebration is kicking off with a 5K race, Race for the World, starting in the morning at the Meriwether Post Pavilion. This race honors the journey of immigrants and refugees from around the world and celebrates the cultural diversity behind what it means to be an American. Luminous has partnered with the Howard County Government, the Columbia Association, and Meriwether to hold this family-friendly event. Following the morning run, you can enjoy a free concert at the Chrysalis from 11.30 to 4 p.m., walking over to the lakefront for fireworks and other festivities. At the lakefront, residents and visitors should begin laying your blankets down at 3 p.m., and musical performances will begin at 6 p.m. And we're so excited to partner once again with the Columbia Association and the Columbia Festival of the Arts to welcome Holly Montgomery and Sugar Ray Rayford as our musical performances this year. As you prepare for the fourth, please remember to plan in advance for transportation and be prepared for increased traffic in and around the area. Free public parking for this event will be located at the Mall in Columbia in the, pub, in the parking garage in the Meriwether District. You can also skip the traffic by riding your bikes or walking to downtown. Bike Hoco will be hosting their annual bike corral with free bike parking right here at the lakefront for all who want to ride here. I want to thank our community partners who have collaborated over the many months to bring this event to fruition. In particular, I want to recognize the Department of Recreation and Parks, Columbia Association, and the Columbia Festival of the Arts for their work to deliver, once again, an excellent entertainment program, fireworks display, and family-friendly events. I also want to thank Greg Fitchett and the Howard Hughes Corporation for their ongoing partnership to offer community spaces and free parking here in downtown Columbia so that many of our neighbors can enjoy the fourth together. And thank you to our friends at the Downtown Columbia Partnership and by Coco for creating more transportation options so that residents can safely walk, bike, and roll around downtown during the 4th of July and beyond. Our lakefront fireworks are a time-honored tradition where family, neighbors, friends can gather, enjoy a beautiful summer evening, and revel in the spectacular lights and color display. We're looking forward to welcoming people from near and far to celebrate our Independence Day together. Thank you so much. So I'd like to start by saying it was, as the president, is incredibly gratifying to have first heard that this is the most valuable piece of property in, in Maryland, and secondly, to hear Dr. Ball talk about the beautiful lakefront. Um, you know, Columbia is a remarkable place, made more remarkable by collaboration between partners like the county, Columbia Festival of the Art, the volunteers that are doing the bike corral. Um, it's truly a unique and special place, and we want to welcome everyone down to lakefront not just for July 4th, but we have um, events free that are, that are free all summer. We have maybe 50 or 60 movies, dozens of music acts um, throughout the course of summer, headliner acts. Um, you know, CA takes a lot of pride in owning and maintaining the space. We're gonna be here at sunup and probably here maybe to the next sunup cleaning up after this is all over on July 4th. Welcome everyone down to Lakefront. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. I just want to be very brief and say I want to extend my thanks of deep appreciation to Parks and Recreation, to Dr. Calvin Ball, to uh, the Columbia Association, Howard Hughes, all of our partners. This has been really exciting to work so closely with our community, and what a fabulous event coming up. I'm going to introduce our Director of Programming, Mr. Dave Simmons. 
Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, so the Columbia Festival of the Arts, along with the men and women from the International Alliance of uh, Theatrical Stage Employees, Local 19, are proud to present the Holly Montgomery Band and three-time Blues Music Award winner and B.B. King Entertainer of the Year, Sugar Ray Rayford. So we hope to see you there. Thank you, guys. There are many reasons to come to downtown Columbia these days. Entertainment and dining options are increasing at a rapid pace, and July 4th is the perfect time to park once and enjoy all that downtown Columbia has to offer and experience just how close and connected our neighborhoods and amenities are. Just like we suggest on concert nights, arrive early, park in our garages, and then enjoy the restaurants and other attractions nearby. If you park at the Meriwether 1 and 2 garages, you're close to Food Market and Cured. If you park in the Symphony Woods Garage, you're at Banditos, Busboys and Poets, Charmory, Clove and Cardamom, Dot Cow, Peter Chang, and Toastique. And at the mall, you have Seasons 52, Walrus, Oyster and Ale House, Chicken and Whiskey, and the rest of the dining spots along Restaurant Row, as well as across the way in the retail level of the Metropolitan and 10M. And finally, at the lakefront, you have the newly opened Offshore, offering both reservations and to-go options, and Sushi Sono. No matter where you park, there are safe and easy walking routes that will get you to the lakefront quickly, and there are plenty of attractions along the way. We can't wel wait to welcome you on the 4th and every other day in downtown Columbia. We just want to encourage everyone, if you don't want to spend time on the 4th of July waiting in traffic in your car, you can access the lakefront easily from most places around Columbia via our awesome paths. Oakland Mills Village Center and Wild Lake Village Center are both less than two miles away on lit paths all the way here. So give it an easy ride if you're able and come park at our bike corral where we'll watch your bike for free from 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. So we hope to see you there. From all of us here in Howard County, we're encouraging everybody to please stay safe and leave the fireworks to the professionals this 4th of July. Fireworks can be extremely dangerous. It's easy to underestimate novelty items like handheld sparklers, but these products can reach 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit and cause serious injuries. In Howard County, the sale, possession, and residential use of ground-based sparklers are prohibited, and violators are subject to fines to up to $1,000 for their use. Party poppers, ignitable snakes, snap and pops, and handheld sparklers are legal, but can still be very dangerous. There is always a spike in fireworks related injuries and even death occurring during 4th of July celebrations. We are determined to avoid that here in Howard County. For those who do purchase the aforementioned legal fireworks, you should definitely follow these safety tips. After a display, children should never pick up fireworks that may be left over as they stay, may still be active or hot to the touch. Keep a bucket of water or a garden hose nearby. Douse used fireworks with significant amounts of water and leave them for several hours before properly disposing of them. Never point or throw fireworks at another person. Never try to relight fireworks that have not fully functioned and adults should always supervise the use of fireworks and never let children handle them. Again, the easiest way to stay safe this 4th of July is by leaving the fireworks to the professionals and come down to beautiful downtown Columbia and see a great show. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Wallace. Uh, Deputy Chief Wallace, apology. Uh, I want to recognize Howard Hughes Corporation Regional Marketing Director, Casey Jones, and uh, thank her for joining us today and just Howard uh, Hughes Corporation's continued provision of public parking and access accommodations for this event. I also want to, I also want to recognize Delegate Pam Gazzoni and and Sharon Bailey from Delegate Terry Hill's office. <laughs> Attendees are asked to wait until after 3 p.m. to start laying down blankets on grassy areas. We hope everyone enjoys the evening's food and festivities while we conclude the evening with a 20-minute fireworks display beginning around 9.20, weather permitting. Should the weather not cooperate, fireworks alone will be rescheduled for July 5th at dusk. Finally, on behalf of the Department of Recreation and Parks, I'd like to take a moment to thank our county executive and staff from several other county agencies for their support of this event. It's this support and our ongoing collaboration with the Columbia Association, the Columbia Festival of the Arts, the Howard Hughes Corporation, and other partners that enable this holiday tradition in Columbia to be so successful year after year. Thank you for joining us this morning, and we hope you'll join us on the 4th.